Howdy folks, this is Hulk Rex here. You know, I told you in the previous video that I had a project coming in. And this is it. Uh, the package came today. And what we have here is the Dystopian Wars. Uh, zoom out a little bit right here. Dystopian Wars, Empire of the Blazing Sun. Uh, let's see if I can even pronounce this. Uh, Yaski? Yeah. I can't even pronounce it. Dreadnought Battle Robot. Uh, it comes in two versions. You get the uh, like the ones I've done before. You have a wa water wading base, and then there's a land base that comes with it. So it's on land and then on water. So I'm gonna have to magnetize this thing. And uh, let's see here. It's open. Yeah, let's see what's in here. All right, we got, looks like the head, or, yeah, that's the head, and the two battle flags that are, that stream across the back, and not sure exactly what these bits are, it looks like a fist of some type, a power-like fist, and maybe that's what that is. Hard to say. I'm going to have to take a look at it. Pull everything out of here and move this box out of the way. You get your typical oh, Halo Reach. I got a box of this sitting off to the side here someplace. We'll have to show sometime. You got it at Gen Con and I've never really messed with or played with it. All right, so this looks like the shoulder, chest area, little bits here. This looks like a waist, probably goes in like that. Now it looks like a pair of legs. So it's going to go in there. What do we got here? This has got to be the two bases. Hold it. Come on, let go. Alright, so you can either do it with a non-standard base, just however you want to decorate it, and then it comes with these. These were really nice. Once I get done with painting these things up, they look really cool. And then the water effects. You know, you got your two bases here. So what I'll have to do is put some magnets in here. And the probably on the arms. Oh, yeah, it comes with a... Uh, a fist and a sword and then the two cannon hands so I have to magnetize those so I'll let go get another all right so here's the cannons oh they're not detached okay so I'm gonna have to magnetize them up higher so when it gets these guys up in here I'm gonna have to put a magnet in someplace up inside like that that won't be too hard. I'll check and see if I got the right size magnets. And get the legs. I believe these are legs. Hmm. And this has got to be an arm. Two arms. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. So. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna have to magnetize in the bottom down here, put a magnet here, a magnet here, and magnet in here, so I can swap it out. Looks like it probably goes in like that, or like this. One of the two. Something like that. But, We'll have to do check all this out. So it'll be like that. And then it probably have to have a torso twist a little bit. So it's like that. So it's facing kind of forward. And I think. Yeah, it's probably the back. Probably goes like this. Most likely. Like that. There we go. So there you go. So that has that. So they're going to be some uh, messing with drills and putting holes and everything. 
So that's everything that came in the package. Also, we got the uh, black powder, finest 28 mil horse and musket period miniatures into the Valley Historic on 2016 special miniature, which I have to put together. Well, there's not much to put together. And paint this guy. Maybe I'll put a diorama or something on that. And but the last, last but not least, let's move all this out of the way. Uh, package also, which was says "Merry Christmas, Birthday Xmas." Merry Birthday Xmas. So I happen to have the distinction to have my birthday. Yeah, I know. Growing up, always like "Merry Christmas, Birthday." I got one gift. Everybody else got two. So I never got to celebrate a birthday. It sucked. But let's just see what we got. This is from my, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. We got the Battle for Iceland. We got the Prussians and the Antarcticans here. Wow. Flip this around. All right, so you get a Prussian fleet. I don't know if we can see that very well. All right, you get a Prussian Empire fleet, reconnaissance battle force. So you get two light carriers, three Don Faust uh, support cruisers, uh, four destroyers, which I don't have for the Prussians. Imagine that. I play Prussians, and I don't have any. And then in the Antarcticans, you get uh, two Kepler light. Carriers. I painted these this force before. I think I painted this force before too. Uh, submerged tokens. Uh, you get three Fresnel uh, support cruisers. These little guys, and then you get four heavy destroyers, which I don't have any heavy destroyers in my fleet for my Antarcticans either. And then you get two small air squadron trays. Ten. Small squadron tokens and micro dice. Also, you get an oil rig and a sea fort. Wait a minute. Fort. Which is this guy right there. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have to paint another one of these buggers up. So, I got two of them. Add them to the rest of my fort complex I got. Uh, we're going to have an interesting scenario for... Uh, Dystopian wars. Let's open this up. Is this? Yeah, we got it. Word my blade. All I gotta say is a special thanks to Todd who sent me this. Wow. Okay. What we got in here? Bag of dice. Hey, the right size dice too. Those are useful. I'm going to come in handy. I'm so used to seeing dice and their little itty bitty things or big monster ones. Uh, let's see what we got here. I know it opened somehow. It's adult proof. Okay, there we go. Here. Right. Okay, this has got to be oil rig. Yeah. It's like the oil rig assembly. That's the base for it. I don't know if you see that. So you got the oil rig and all the rigging that goes with it. With that. Probably sits like that. Where does it land? Yep, that's the way it goes. All right, so it'll be something like that. I'll get that sucker put together. Figure that one out. And what we got here? Oh, we got turn bases. 
Z8. I don't know if anybody, you know, usually watches these. They know how to play the game. But uh, you got turn templates, and each one is an inch. And this is the medium turn template. So as the ship has a certain movement, say it's got a six inch movement, and it wants to turn, it goes one inch, chunk, 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 and goes around. So it gets an arc that goes through the water. And smaller ships have a smaller template for turning. I don't know if they put one in here. Uh, let's see. Is there a smaller one in here? Uh, it's just a rule book. One with stat cards. And more paper islands. But it's going to be a lot of fun. What else we got in here? Alright, that's the Antarctic Fleet. You can see the size of uh, that's the carrier, the drone carrier. You can see right here it's got um, launches off remote control controlled uh, drones. While other fleets go out there and um, have pilots in there, theirs is remotely controlled from the mothership. Now this is the Fresnel carrier. And it's just like the uh, in a lighthouse, you got the Fresno Dome, the light assembly. And it focuses a laser beam, so a light comes out and it shoots a laser. So it's got a big giant laser on it. Goes out there and blasts stuff out at range. And what else here? Yep, this is the Americans. As they say in the dystopian wars, the North shall rise again, because in the, this universe, the South won the, the uh, Civil War. So now the South dictates what goes on in the Americas. And the whole premise of their fleet is kind of based on river monitor style. So you got the small little carriers. This is my main fleet I usually play. Or uh, this is the Prussians, I mean. I'm just thinking the wrong fleet here. Uh, the Prussian Empire, they use a lot of Tesla weapons. Uh, Nikolai Tesla never did leave. And uh, they took their technology to heart. And they shoot little, like, uh, spears. And it goes over there and it tracks elect uh, lightning. You know, these turrets on the sides, they shoot lightning out. And blast everything with it and more smaller squadron stuff all right got that and this is the fort which i just showed you what it looks like com completed yep more of the same all right so i'm going to be working on that here too at the same time so I'm gonna get this robot put together here in the next couple days and I'll do an update video on that and uh, I'd like to another thanks again to Todd who sent me this this is one of the best birthday Christmas gifts I've had in a long time I thank you and uh, this will get put together and added to my fleet so this is Helker X, and uh, you guys have a great day, and I'm going to be a busy guy putting all this stuff together. This is Helker X out.